my only interaction with the outside world during this lockdown was through my balcony and i'm trying to retrospect moments i share with the several balcony spaces that i have seen so far i'm sure that at some point of time you too must have explored a place just by being there for several hours put together and let that place consume you completely thereby allowing you to know each and every speck of particle present over there i for instance know by heart the corners in my balcony even before i got consumed with my recent bird watching sessions it all started with just exploring the various spots of my balcony as a toddler to hanging out with friends from childhood and this is when we got adventurous and climbed up every possible corner to have endless chats and occasional banter sometimes trying out those unripened mangoes that were reachable from our balcony i'm pretty sure that you do have a similar memory of playing make believes in some corner of your house that you still reminisce all those good things that come to an end we have to make a move to a new place and lockdown made sure that i get used to this new balcony which by the way did not have trees of any sort surrounding it but the only advantage of this new balcony is that it allowed me to watch and interact with some of the spectacular phenomena we are still being protected from up above the sky with so many stars watching over us and that we are made of same elements that make up each of these heavenly bodies i'm sure that such a feeling arises from a place of constant earning to belong somewhere and also from insights taken from folk tales narrated to us during our childhood i also believe that such a place of belonging might change for each one of us depending on what stage of life we are in right now i for instance want to belong to the world of birds but just being a silent spectator who could go on and on watching them display their casual self having said that i had days when i get super lazy to even climb up the balcony to having days when i had to stay still in one spot waiting for an ideal bird interaction moment that could happen in the electric lines adjacent to my balcony and also days when i had to run from one end to another to catch up the flight of birds on the contrary night sessions become even more interesting and challenging to watch birds reach back to their homes because of several factors A the limitations with my scope to spot in low or no light B clouds that cover up the entire sky in a matter of seconds 
See the chance of you spotting a visible planet on a given time to be up above your head and not below your feet. If there is something I learned from these night sessions, it would be to be prepared for anything to occur at any time which includes encountering a thief who casually left our premises. While this happens to be my narrative of how I spend my time with my balcony, I'm pretty sure that you too would have your own spot at your home where you spend most of your time. Please do comment your favorite spot and I'm waiting to hear from you about yours. Having said that, I deeply deeply wish that you keep spending happy moments in your favorite spot and have a good day ahead.